guys welcome back again from my channel how oh, happy weekend it's a saturday and today we're going to start by having another standard tech feature and this time is if you look at the screen it is another version of a control deck archetype in the standard meta game and this list is the Grixis control uh, played by Alex Rodriguez at the $100 cash payout weekly at the Lotus Lookout which I think this was uh, this store was previously uh, uh, featured also in another deck tech uh, video and having only 11 players but still it got my interest of seeing this uh, build because uh, of course it's a Grixis it is uh, uh, by far and the color combination is one of the also a strong and consistent uh, archetypes uh, as compared in the previous uh, standard meta game but this time let us see what the uh, some new cards from Kamigawa and Industry has affected this uh, deck list so we start with the uh, creature choices we have a few one of and some for play set of uh, these cards uh, graveyard test passer and uh, which in it's a three, three class three three creature when it has a ward of discarding a card so if it enters the battlefield or it attacks it exile can exile up to one target card from graveyard so if a creature card was exiled this way the opponent loses one life and you get one life and it's version for the night bound it is a welcome a werewolf a four four werewolf we're in entering the battlefield also it attacks it can exile up to two target cards and can deal with the creature cards where you can gain one life while having opponents lose one life for each of these cards exiled then next we have a play set of ghost for dragon this is a stable i think this is a stable inclusion for red based uh, control decks or mid-range decks you can produce tokens on its own you can get you enough mana to having it attacking on the air because of its evasion while giving you treasure tokens wherein they can also produce two mana when the color of your choice in the same way you can have uh, open mana to protect it or counter your opponent's uh, best threats then we have a copy of uh, Hulbic Horror this is a stable uh, component for control base given that this uh, blue red on its component and a, a copy of Bulky Gold of Lies which I think it's going to go with the Balt Cosmic Impostor because of having only one copy in the deck makes it uh, uh, lesser dr lesser to draw wherein you can just basically cast it for its uh, uh, Prince Walker side and the late game with the uh, 7 mana of uh, 5 or less 1 red and 1 black so it's effect you get an emblem that you may play cards like Salve with the Balt Cosmic Exposure and you may spend the mana as though they were mana of any color for the casting of spells so it has an effect of plus 2 accelerating the top card of its player's library and also it can exile the critical creature with the minus 3 ability and the minus 8 this is the ultimate uh, ability of it exile all cards from our graveyard and it will add 3 red mana to your mana pool it's a good inclusion as uh, uh, Planeswalker as in the same way that, uh, if you can comp uh, uh, compare the uh, spell line up in the bottom side you can also see two more kinds of planeswalkers in the build so let's just uh, go to the uh, counter spells and or card draws and spot removals so we have specific hassle uh, sort of a one mana one damage kill but on also add uh, a land drop if you needed then we have two copies of a braid you that can deal three damage to target creature you can destroy it also target artifact uh, if needed if any other uh, vehicle threats that you may have encountered then we have a play set of dragon's fire since you're running a goldsman dragon of uh, four copies this is also sort of but not an inclusion because having a uh, choosing a dragon you control or may reveal a dragon card from your hand it can get the bonus of uh, dealing uh, damage equal to its power of that card so basically it will deal for damage 
if needed by just revealing your goldsman dragon or having it already into play then we have a copy of prismatic command uh, sort of a, a variance in uh, card draw and having treasure, uh, treasure tokens and also dealing with uh, vehicles or needed to damage for any relevant targets and for black we have two copies of uh, blood chief's thirst when kicker 3 can basically destroy any creature or planeswalker and the good thing about this having one mana is it can kill off uh, creatures with mana value 2 or less which can basically halt uh, aggro, aggro decks if they get to curve out with the creatures early on the joker lone card draw here is the expressive iteration if you look at its card value it's currently at six dollars and 48 cents because of its uh, sort of an explosive way of uh, getting your card advantage so it is an automatic uh, for inclusion in this deck for mana fixing also for card draw and other uh, needed stuff now we go with the uh, non-spell uh, non-spell hand creature then up we go with the uh, two plants walker uh, Kaito Suzuki and Soren Limitless so depending on how you would you set up these uh, creatures in your in your board you just basically utilize each if needed like example you can just fix out your card draw or you can draw a card if you if you attack no and then you can also have a two a one one blue ninja creature token that can be black and if uh, the uh, long game goes uh, you can get to the enough reality to get this emblem uh, whenever a creature control this combat damage a player then you can search your library for a blue or black creature card to put in the battlefield so for Sorden we have uh, also card draw by looking at the top card library and uh, revealing it and putting it in your hand but the uh, drawback here is just you may lose life equal to its mana value which at times may need um, you may need to set up your top card by having other card draw effects so you would not really lose life to its uh, ability and also you can have a 2-3 back creature token to protect your board and protect also protect Soren now for the Celestus it's I only have uh, a loan copy here I'm not sure uh, what's the reason here but it's a good uh, mana ramp in its way because ha even if it's just a uh, uh, 3 mana cost uh, having to add 1 mana in any color to fix your uh, spells and given it's, it's a 3 color deck and another good thing uh, having this trigger of uh, night or day or the night becomes day you gain my life and you may draw a card it's also a good card resource at the same time and given that the spot removal boss we also have a mass removal in the form of uh, Mythok Massacre <coughs> probably the most expensive card in the deck so this common value of uh, having mana sync for minus x minus x and then <coughs> have a trigger effect of if you control uh, a creature control dies and then spawning lose one life then a component creature control uh, an opponent uh, creature dies then you get the one gain one life trigger which can suffice with the lots of uh, spot removals in your main deck then this is the four copies of uh, the new card from Kamigawa uh, the hero the mirror breaker it creates a 2-2 red goblin shaman that uh, creates a treasure token when it attacks you also know, a good card draw by discarding up to two cards uh, the drawback here is the it will fix your hand but not really uh, uh, we can say that uh, a good trigger because it can be situational at the same time but having to flip it into the reflection of Kijiki it, be it can become a good threat uh, uh, producer even if you get to set up cards like a uh, gold span and producing a token that's copy of it and uh, also yeah, having that means that uh, producing a copy of gold span will have you 8 power of uh, f attack in the air 
which can basically end up uh, uh, doing an upper strike to your opponents if uh, you get a setup with this uh, uh, creature. So now you can check the basic uh, uh, land distribution, also the fixing of it by having a free set of uh, Hunted Ridge uh, River Guide Platway for Blue Red, two copies of Blight Step for Black Red, and a cap. Uh, place it also shipwreck marsh and storm carb coast as for the other two color combinations to fix your mana then it also has uh, two copies of whole storm giants as a late game uh, mana creature if, in, if it's needed to activate that to become a 7 7 blue giant creature with war treat for another batch of uh, attackers now for the sideboard I think this is just a pretty much inclusion for a typical uh, Grixis build. More counter spells, more like this one, specific uh, test, then remove anal, then discard effects such as Jures, uh, color specific removals for white such as re Take copies to make sure that uh, maybe their metal game is more of the blue white, ag uh, mono white aggro set up so having uh, three copies will the would make it more efficient and uh, one copy of uh, Hallbreaker and Kotosei which is more of a support support card in the late game against maybe from uh, mid-range decks and other control decks so overall I think this is a good uh, inclusion to have if you ever to play it uh, in MTG Arena or MTG Online so um, I think uh, having uh, one of copies can be good because of this variance but uh, I would prefer more efficient uh, uh, counter spells for example uh, spell pierce can be changed into a negate or a disinfo stroke since most of the meta game are more going with the mid range or maybe you could face under control decks wherein can be more relevant to have a solid uh, counter spell S now for the the main deck uh, removals this looks uh, sufficient enough but uh, this one can be I think this one can be lowered to just three copies and then have uh, uh, one copy of Mitok Massacre for more uh, uh, mass removal effects or chances of drawing this in the, in the deck and uh, given if the metagame goes with the uh, uh, creature base then you can cut off uh, at least uh, maybe bulky or another river trespasser for more uh, spot removals so that's a wrap up for this uh, this control standard deck update I do hope you uh, try to implement this uh, in your lineup if you want to play test this or go into a ranking in TG Arena you can do so and just comment below if you would uh, take uh, what's your take about this build and what's your changes the possible have is going to have in this uh, uh, deck tech archetype so that's about uh, it thank you for checking on this video and until the next one